and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Mardu Reanimator. Uh, this was a deck that was submitted by one of my viewers that really wanted to see it played and it looks pretty sweet. Uh, they said that it was another streamer, the Asian Avenger, came up with the deck and um, and yeah, so let's let's give it a try. Basically, what we're doing here is we're trying to fill our graveyard with the help of Stitcher Supplier um, or our disc artifacts with Remadi Reveler, Tormenting Voice, and Rotting Registor. Fill our graveyard with some of these big things, especially Dracuseth, Ma of Flames. This is going to be a fun card to play. A 7-7 seven, seven Flyer that whenever it attacks, it deals 4 damage to any target and 3 damage to up to each of up to two other targets so you get to do at least four damage like even if, the, if even if your opponent doesn't have anything on the battlefield you can do four damage upstairs but if they have extra things you can do uh four three and three split to different targets you can't just do them all to the like uh the same target like to the opponent um but looks pretty sweet so we're trying to fill our graveyard with that and then play bond of revival uh return it from the graveyard with haste so be able to attack with it right away. Um, we also have Blood for Bones for another reanimation spell. So we got six reanimation spells. And then we have a whole bunch of five drops and Dracusets and this Vilas, Broker of Blood, here. So yeah, this looks pretty, pretty sweet. And we got the R Rotting Registors. This is going to be my first time playing this card. Uh, you know, just a really big three-mana creature. Uh, Deafening Clarions can give our creatures lifelink also, so we could have like a big 7-6 lifelinker coming on in there. Um, just looks like we get to do some cool stuff with this deck. And uh, first week of the format, you know, this is day two. That's what we're trying to do, trying to do cool stuff. So let's get, let's get to it, Mardu Reanimator. All right, so that's the link to the deck list. Did I put sleeves on the deck? Oh, I, I really hope our deck's not sleeveless. I don't remember if I did or not. Hopefully there's some kind of sleeves. Yay, we got some sleeves. Oh yeah, Liliana's our reanimate sleeve. The Necromancer. Yeah, we don't want to damage our sweet rares. Exactly. Hey, what's up, Jelly Tug? Yeah, we're doing the 12-hour stream today. This didn't work yesterday with the, um, with all the problems Arena was having. Playing the new set. We started at noon Eastern. We're, we'll be going to midnight. It's about four o'clock now. We're starting our third deck. Yeah, a lot of the decks I make myself, you know, I just kind of go go through, like, cards that I want to play and, you know, make decks around, like, those cards that I want to play. Keep up the, this, isn't a fight this is not win. one of those. This was one that was submitted by a viewer that another streamer built. So I could Bond Revival... The Masker Girl and attack the Teferi for four... Honestly, I think we're just going to kind of play this slower. Let's just get the Cavalier Knight in here.
All right, so now our the deckless thing should be working now. See, if I get rid of the Dracu Seth, I do get to Bond Revival it back. Eh, yeah, we'll get rid of it. Dang. But then, like, our opponent only has to deal with it the one time instead of dealing with it twice, like, if I play it. I haven't I haven't had any M M20 tweaks to Gruel Arc Bow yet, but yeah, yeah, I made that deck. Um, yeah, you know, because this is, this is only just the second day with M20, just the decks that we played yesterday plus these ones. I've basically been building new decks, haven't really been tweaking old decks too much besides the Grixis Control from yesterday. Really? Let's skip to the good part. Would have been great to find another to find another Dracky set there. All right, so they're down to four. You need to slow down. Oh yeah, this Cavalier of Night has Life Link. Gross. Um. Have, you, have there been any decks you've seen that are playing the recurring? Like, maybe if we get Bonder Revival and, you know, get to attack with Ilharg plus Massacre Girl there. Man, that's really annoying. They took my own stuff. That's really annoying. I haven't seen any recurring gods alongside the Cavalier of Night too much, no. Cavalier of Night only returns creatures that cost three CMC or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. It doesn't return the gods. Yeah, this is a matchup for Playcrafter. Um... Guess they're gonna have like hero a precinct one, so maybe we should not cut all of our deafening clarions and Kaiserathes. We do have Masker Girl though too. I feel like our opponent can deal with 
rotting register very easily. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. So while I didn't put this deck together, having one of each of a lot of different creatures is usually good whenever you have a card like Bond Revival so you have different options. So it's not just, you know, so like you don't have just one option for a specific scenario. I don't really want to discard anything with Remodi Reveler. that land drop. Yeah, that's why I just went for is just discarding. Yeah, we're going to have to discard something to Bell Hunt, and so I just went with the Remodi Reveler. It's an aggressive cast down there. Hey, JMS, yeah, we're doing the 12 hour stream today. Yay, land. Why do we have to draw the Bond Revival and then right afterwards our opponent has thought erasure boo trust me i have a plan We have three lands right now. Hmm. 
Let's try this. Well then. Ah, didn't draw the... Didn't draw the land to also do the blood for bones. So we'll just activate we this. Meet again. No, not exile. All right, Blood for Bones, we're going to put Ilharg into play. And in our hand, I think I want just Reveler back. Now nah, we'll just get the Cavalier Dawn. Yeah, I hope Chandra Tribal is pretty good, too. Alright, so they get a 3-3, but I get my Ilharg back. Fair trade. That's a cool golem. Alright. We have played... We have played uh, Cat Tribals. I haven't played... Yeah, we haven't played with the new Ajani. Haven't tried a Cat, tri cat Tribal with the new Ajani that can make Pride Mates. We had cat decks before in the previous format. I'm going to hope no Hero Precinct 1. We didn't see any Hero Precinct 1 at all there. I'm taking out the Massacre Girl. And for the other Noxious, Noxious, Noxious Grasp. Blech. This hand's really good against Basilica Bellhaunt. They play Bellhaunt on four. I discard Draki Seth and then I bond a revival it back. Yeah, Chow, I, I've heard of that deck. I haven't played against it yet. I've got it. That was a good Teferi for them. My prowess put thoughtfulness before action. It seems pretty strong. I'm not I'm not sure how it would do against like the, the aggro decks, but definitely seems pretty strong. Against like decks that are just dirtling and no, dirtles really, really well. With you know, like that the reef card is awesome.
Ooh, we get to attack? So four damage here, and then other two targets, three and three there. Huh. I won't let you win. I have reached. All right. Well, I guess I should have attacked its fairy. I just had, you know, had my little one one try to finish off the Teferi there because it didn't really seem like they had a removal spell how the Draki Seth got to attack, but of course they had Cast Down, which doesn't kill our legendary dragon. Sorry I'm late. You know what? I'm not done yet. I'll protect you. They had to have just drawn removal for this thing. Yeah, so they, they have Kaya's Wrath here. I mean, we're at second main right now, getting the dragon back. Because I had to go to combat so that they would cast the, the Kaya's Wrath, so we're in second, we're in second main. No time for a break. So yeah, having, the dragon having haste isn't anything too important there. Unless you're saying I should just wait till next turn. And uh, you're not doing anything that turn. to spark forward the next turn. Hold that thought. Guess I should have attacked Teferi with my 7-7 seven seven previously. That one damage that we didn't get to do to Teferi. You know, they would have taken a whole lot less damage, but that one damage that we didn't get to do to Teferi, just letting it draw so many cards.
Esper's good. We could sit around for another 10 minutes to lose that game. But, I mean, they have as Kanta, they get to activate twice a turn. You know, drawing another card with Teferi also. We're not, we're not doing 10 more points of damage there. I, I don't have any M20 decks that feel the strongest so far. Coops. This is now my, you know, seventh deck that I've tried out, but there's still so many things. It's, you know, strongest. No idea yet. Can Rotting Registors win a game on their own? I don't know. Let's find out. Um, yeah, I may have been able to win that if I attacked differently. You know, it's, it's hard to say. It wasn't a definite. But that, you know, that as we saw, like, at the end of the, the game there, you know, like, they had, like, the three cards in hand. Teferi had drawn three extra cards at that point, plus was really going to be really difficult to deal with. It did, you know, our opponent looked like they just had another Teferi in hand. They could have had that other Teferi in hand the whole time. Mind and bone your prowess. Which would have, which, you know, could have uh, meant that they could have just played the other Teferi and, and tucked my my big creature and been just fine. Yeah, Chow Dizzle, like yeah, I have room today for a donation deck. Yeah, because I, I was thinking that we'd probably be playing one more deck anyway. So yeah. I sure do. Open mind. And this is why I'm boarding out Rotting Registor in this matchup. I, just, I don't even want to play it. I don't want to play it and discard my land. Let's slow this down. That card's still very, very good. Let's take it back. I mean, the fact is, this Esper deck's just a lot better than our deck. We're trying to do this this cool little thing here, but. It's 
the... Unfortunate truth for us. Ciao, Dizzle. Here we for that go. donation deck there. Oh, my Streamlabs isn't up. I'm gonna get Streamlabs up so I can see that. Main deck I've noticed is getting enough permanents for Flood. Would like some ideas, otherwise this list is a blast. Enjoy and good luck. All right, cool. Let's open it in right now on Stream Decker. Yeah, I, I can definitely see like where we can do some really cool stuff against other decks. Esper is just going to be really tough for us. Maybe the Playcrafter isn't necessary. No, we should be playing it. No, I don't imagine that the three mana Teferi and Narsa will be played less after rotation. When rotation happens, the decks get worse because you lose four sets and you gain one set. But overall, if you think about just the amount of cards that are in four sets compared to one set, there's, a, there's you know, like losing all those sets and only gaining one set means that, you know, you only have five sets in standard now. So the card, qual or the card quantity, there's just less cards. And so therefore the decks just aren't going to be as good because you just don't have as many cards to work with. So with the decks not being as good after rotation immediately as they are right now, I don't really see why Narset and Teferi would not be played as much. Now, with that being said, um, uh, a lot of times at, at rotation, whenever it happens, they try to put together decks that, or like they they kind of build cards in like the fall set and try to put together um, like the set to like not just get ran over by like the same cards that we're playing before and you know so like they're they could definitely design cards specifically with like teferi narset in mind to try to not have esper still be real good i don't want to take dovin's veto but i guess i have to because a tormenting voice but i really don't want to I'm not going to. I'm going to take the Snar set. Yeah, the the goal is to have whenever the whenever rotation happens to have the fall set be the uh, dominant set, the the set that uh, people are talking about all the time, buying all the new cards and all that kind of stuff. So Wizard's goal is to not have <clears throat> like the same Esper control deck dominate in the fall that's like doing really well right now.
Okay, so I would have got the Bond Revival. So say the problem with putting Dracu Seth <clears throat> in the graveyard though is the command the dread horde. So why I put the land in there. Alright, well there's another Dracu Seth. I need to make sure they don't mess up my mana. So that I can uh, Vilas and pay two life and draw two cards. Do you want me to play your decks up next, Chow Dizzle? Or do you want me to play it later on in the day? Okay. I'm trying to get yours to load. My stream decker is not really loading. It's just sitting there right now. So the Dracuseth is lethal. Violus is not lethal, but Violus draws four cards in case that they have a uh, Dispark. Okay, they did not have Dispark. Yeah, could you could you put the list on on Goldfish, Chow Dizzle? Well, Violus looked pretty sweet there. Being able to draw all those cards, that was sweet. I like that. Yeah, we could have shocked after reanimating, uh, but then we would have had, it would, would have been the red-white land. So it would have really just been the same thing. Because it was the red-white land. So we would not have been able to actually activate Violus, so could have gone either way there. Oh, there we go. It, it loaded. Okay, never mind. We're good. Yay, no veto. That would have been disappointing to get that vetoed. Well, 
Blade Crafter, you couldn't have, couldn't have had you last turn. We're not really a mill deck, but we do want to put cards in our graveyard. Trust me. Uh, You'll thank me later. That's quite annoying now. Oh my Don't gosh. Worry. I, I ticked up. Hmm. Well, they still sacrifice the Teferi either way. Did they just not take a card with Thief? No, they took a card, right? You just can't see it. It's right there. It's like invisible. It's doing like a little thing there, but it's, it's like invisible. Right there. So they have two cards over there now? No, just one card still? Well, they... Oh, they played my duress. All right, looks like this Thief of Sandy is gonna crush us. Hey QQ. No, don't get any no, I don't get nervous smelling myself to use my graveyard. No, I got a lot of cards in your library. Alright, so those are the two cards. They're just chilling over there. Hmm. All oh, right, Othakaya killing me. That was not even a good attack because Othakaya. Oh, that one has a sleeve. No. Ugh. I needed that bond revival. The 
present and future are bound by threads of time. No time for a break. Put thoughtfulness before action. Yeah, we're dead here. I can't be I can't be what's on the battlefield. Like we are pretty far behind on the battlefield cuz Teferi just tucks my Dracu Seth and then and not only that our opponent has seven cards over there. You need to take a time out. GG. All right, so we got matched up against Esper twice, which honestly is... I mean, if it's not our worst matchup, I don't, I don't know what would be. I mean, that, that's got to be, like, the worst deck that, for us to see, honestly. Because, like, really the strength of our deck is kind of, you know, built around Clarion and then, you know, getting... You know, Clarion's a huge part of the strength of our deck uh, against like all the all the aggro decks, all the green decks, basically every deck that's not Esper. And then of course putting in these difficult to deal with, like these big threats, but Esper deals with them very easily. Um, even against like Grixis control, like putting in some of these threats is harder for them to deal with uh, than having like these Teferis that all the Teferis and everything. So yeah. I, even though we went 0-2 here, I could see our deck doing a lot better against non-Esper decks. But there we go. Mardu Reanimator. I would have to say that I was I was a little disappointed with Rotting Regisaur, but again, this isn't really the matchup for Rotting Regisaur. Um but that card was a little disappointing. Stitcher Supplier didn't feel great with only the two Blood for Bones. Um, but yeah, Bond Revival is awesome. You know, that card, Bond Revival is awesome. These things are pretty good. Like, Dracuseth felt pretty good. I liked this Vilas. That card was good. But there we go. All right, that's Mardu Reanimator. Uh, you know, we'll play this deck again later on, you know, on another day, and hopefully we get a little bit better pairings then, or uh, I don't know, I'll try to think of like some kind of different sideboard plan to have against Esper. Esper is tough to beat, though. That's a good, it's a good deck. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the deck. If you're watching the video later on YouTube, I uh, hope you, you know, you can try it out yourself. Let me know how it goes here, but thank you so much for watching Marty Reanimator, and I will see you for another video.